700 Squadron's a second line naval air squadron. Its mission is to bring new aircraft into commission. It's been in existence several times. In this incarnation, it's named 700 Whiskey, W for Wildcat. One of the key roles of the squadron is tactical development. So we've got a brand new helicopter here. Uh, its capabilities far outweigh anything uh, we've had before. Uh, so really it's down to us to find out how we're going to operate the aircraft, how we're going to fight it. Uh, and I think really anything we do in the next 18 months uh, we'll probably still be doing in 20 or 30 years time. The Navy Wildcat, the grey one, as distinct from the Army Green, is gearing up to be the attack helicopter from the maritime environment. At the moment we operate the Lynx Mark 8 on the back of frigates and destroyers deployed all around the world 365 days a year. We can go out searching for pirates, we encounter narcotics uh, in the Caribbean, Obviously we're providing security in the South Atlantic around the Falkland Islands uh, and a constant presence uh, in the Arabian Gulf and the Indian Ocean as well. The Wildcat is the Lynx replacement, uh, so over the next three to four years you'll see the number of Wildcat flights increase uh, as the number of Lynx flights decreases uh, and probably by about 2017, 2018 all the flights at sea will be Wildcat HMA Mark II. It's a fantastic aircraft to fly, I mean it's a very new beast compared to the Lynx. It flies very similarly in some ways but the main headline features really is it has a lot more power available and it's a lot smoother to fly, so the less vibrations, so it's a much more comfortable environment to fly in. It was very exciting taking it for the first time um, and a little daunting as well because the cockpit looks very different to the Lynx. With the Lynx you've got your traditional uh, analogue instruments all over the display and lots of engine instruments giving you readouts, whereas in the Wildcat it's uh, four glass screens in the cockpit, so in terms of what you're looking at from a pilot's point of view in the aircraft, it's very different, so quite daunting in some ways but exciting certainly. Green and Grey Wildcat are based out of the same hangar at Royal Naval Air Station Yeovilton, which is expanding to become the hub for all the new aircraft and will accommodate the Army Air Corps Wildcat squadrons moving there soon. The fielding teams say being beside each other brings real benefits, pooling resources and sharing knowledge of the new airframe. I'm a mechanical supervisor, so I'm working on uh, airframes, engines, transmissions. And so what's it like changing to Wildcat? Uh, it's been a, a big challenge. Uh, it's, it looks very similar to a Lynx, but uh, it is actually quite different when you get underneath. Uh, so it's been it's been difficult but enjoyable. The Wildcat's strengths are in reconnaissance, giving ships a picture of what's happening all around. But all 28 will be fitted with winches and stretchers, equipped for search and rescue, or whatever else crops up at sea. From me as an observer, so not a pilot, so I sit on the left-hand side of the aircraft and fight the aircraft. Uh, it has a much better radar. Uh, than we've got at the moment. It can see a lot further. Uh, it's 360 degree radar, whereas it's 180 at the moment. That uh, so means as I'm flying back home from my ship, I can still see what's going on behind me. The aircraft's also being scrutinised on the international market. It's been chosen as South Korea's maritime operational helicopter requirement for the future. It's exciting. I mean, to be involved in the project at its very start is always going to be exciting. Um, there are lots of things to work through, lots of things to develop, and lots of things to learn about in terms of the capability of the aircraft. So for the next two years, it's an exciting time here at 700 Whiskey as we just begin to learn um, how to best utilise this new piece of kit. I think the Navy's very excited. Uh, definitely the people I've got on my squadron are excited about it. Often I'm asked who's going to be on that first flight that goes to sea, and I think there's a bit of, bit of competition there for people to go and do that. Uh, and as the CEO, I can't ask for any more than that. People who want to go and do the job, uh, and I guess it's a bonus, they get paid for it as well. The first sea trials to test Grey Wildcat's operating limits from warships are due to start early next year. Julie Knox, Forces News, RNAS, Seovolton.